Hey guys, hey, how is everybody today? Welcome back to Dan with Danny. Today is day one of Vlogtober and we're going to do a kind of get to know me. Um, I have 10 questions that I pulled off of the internet. Now, if you guys want me to do another one of these, I can do another one. Um, if you want to ask questions down below in the comments, I can do another. Or if we don't get a lot of comments asking questions, then I can just answer them in the comments. Okay, we're going to um, start out with question one. What is your favorite hobby? So my favorite hobby is crochet. Um, I started crocheting at a time when uh, my boys were kind of like in their teen years and you know, they didn't want to hang out with mom and my, my uh, youngest was in school. So it was kind of like, what do I do? Um, so I learned how to crochet and I've really done like a lot of different projects. Um, I do a lot of like character hats. I've done costumes. I've done like baby photo op outfits. Um, I've done a lot of different things with my crocheting. So I would say that that is definitely my favorite hobby. Um, outside of that, uh, I like to swim and we love to go camping. So camping would be definitely probably my next hobby. All right, next question. Are you interested in any form of art? Um, well, I kind of consider my crochet um, a form of art. Uh, that's where I kind of let all my creativity out. But I always wished that I could draw. My grandmother could draw beautifully. My mom could draw somewhat. My sister could draw somewhat. I didn't get that gene at all. I totally missed it. <laughs> Next question. Would you trust yourself if you were another person? Uh, this is a really interesting question. Um, I'm going to have to say no. Um, I'm kind of going through something right now where, you know, I've had a lot of hurt. And so I don't trust much at all right now. So, um, if I was another person, especially like a stranger, somebody I don't know, then no, I, I wouldn't trust myself. Next question. Do you think crying is a sign of weakness? I definitely do not think crying is a sign of weakness. Um, I think, uh, strong feelings abound when you're crying and I feel like if you have that strong of feelings that means you have a heart and so I think it's a good thing to cry I think also that it's a good release um sometimes you just need a good cry so no I don't see it as a sign of weakness at all uh next question would you prefer fame or money I would definitely prefer money um I'm very shy and quiet in real life. Um, I'm antisocial. I like, I'm a homebody. I love to stay home. Um, so fame would just wear me out in no time. Um, you know, being noticed everywhere you go or being stopped or whatever. I could, I, I wouldn't like it at all. I like to kind of blend into the woodwork and get in and out of places as fast as I can. question is what are the top three things in your bucket list um so two i was able to come up with right away um my first thing would definitely be to move to a warmer climate we are in an area where um it's winter like six months out of the year and we are in the snow belt of our state and we are in the snow belt of our city so we get tons of snow and I love snow. I mean, if it's going to be brown and everything's going to be dead because it's winter and it's cold, then I'd much rather look out at the snow than the dead trees and the, you know, dead grass. So I love the snow. I just wish it didn't have to come with the cold. So first one, 
move somewhere warmer. Um, my next one would be, I want to visit Italy. I'm Italian, but I've never known my Italian roots or my Italian family. So um, going to Italy has always been something that I've really wanted to do. Um, my third thing in my bucket list, I would have to say, is my YouTube channel. Um, just succeeding at doing this because I love doing it and I met a lot of wonderful people doing this and I totally love the people that hang out in my chat and that, you know, take time to, you know, come and talk to us every day. I just, I hope that this um, ends up being a success. That would be my last thing on the bucket list. Are you more like your mother or your father? Um, so I don't feel like I am like either of them, personality wise. Uh, I look like my dad, um, but both of my parents are like quick to anger and I'm, I'm really not. Um, so I don't think personality wise I'm an awful lot like them, but I definitely have my dad's sense of humor. My dad had a very sarcastic sense of humor. We used to rib each other all the time. That's kind of how my family is. Like if we don't pick on you, then, you know, then you should worry type thing. Um, cause we pick on the ones we love that sort of thing. So I definitely get that from my father. Um, the stuff I get from my mom is, is mostly uh, health issues. <laughs> Next question, who was your first crush? So my first crush was Scott Baio. Happy Days and Charles and Char, Joni Loves Chachi. Um, and then after that, I would say it was John Stamos. Next one, what is your biggest accomplishment to date? My biggest accomplishment is definitely my children. Um, I always say that if, you know, all parents love their children, you know, but when you really like who your children have become, that's like a really true, true blessing because I could hang out with my kids anytime. They make me laugh more than anybody. Um, I love hanging out with my kids. So definitely, definitely, um, it would be being a stay-at-home mom um, and raising my children. That was my biggest accomplishment. And the last and final question, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. I love all shades of blue. Um, baby blue, periwinkle, aqua blue, navy blue, royal blue. Like, I, I love them all. Um, I just find blue very calming. But what's odd is I don't have hardly any blue clothes, which is really weird. <laughs> but yeah, so that was the last question, guys. Um, again, if you have any other questions that you'd like to know about me, you can put them down below in the comments. And I will, if I get enough, I will do another get to know me vlog. And if I don't get enough, then I'll just answer you right below in the comments. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn the bell on so you're notified every time I post a video. And if you would please smash that thumbs up button for me, it really helps the channel a lot. Okay guys, thanks for hanging out. I will see you next time. Bye.